Friday. Andrea Atseni has had some experience of Epsom Downs this morning. Andrea, you're on funny two jockeys to ride on the track today. How was it riding? I thought it was beautiful ground and um, probably good ground really. Um, very safe, good cover of grass and um, no, they, you know, they always do a great job here so we're very pleased to come back. And Torteca um, could be your your Oaks Mount on Friday week. W what did she learn from the experience today? Well, you know, she's a filly that um, she obviously ran a lean field, which is a I could say very sim. I would say very similar to here, but it's similar coming down the hill, left left down the track, and uh, you know, it was just to get it out and uh, give a bit of experience of uh, the for Eps, you know of Epson, but. Uh, you know, it was just her and the lead horse is going to be a whole different scenario for the Oaks. Well, it could be a 12 runners field like that. I know so it's going to be a lot much messier than, than the piece of work today. But it was good. You know, I was very pleased with her. She got up to the line strongly. And it was just a case of get her out and um, get to another track. And Andre Roger was telling us earlier on, obviously, likely one of the two were on. Norsha won the Musidora. Torteca coming on from the Lingfield trial. In terms of ability, do they seem very similar fillies at the moment to you? They're, they're, they're different fillies. So Toteki, she's a she'll stay. She's more of a galloper. With the Nosha, she's she's not slow. She's one of a man and a quarter the other day. She travelled really good into the race. She was actually a little bit keen early on, but she got up tight to the line strongly. She didn't do, didn't do anything quick. Obviously on form, you'll have to you know the music or she's a, you know she's a music or a, uh, winner. She's you know she's she's obviously a trial winner. So you know she will be. Uh, Obviously, on ratings and on form, she you know she'd be better than than Toteki, but I don't know. It depends if the, if both turn up, then we'll have to make a decision which one I'm going to ride. But um, hopefully, I'll ever ride in the race anyway. And hopefully, ever ride in the Derby too. Um, I'd say obviously, if, if he runs, Surfman will be that horse. The the Dante we we knew going into race how highly Roger regards the horse and again it, he seems to have been encouraged by his performance at York were you I was very happy with him and you know he's a horse that um, we needed to find out a little bit more from him because he won his two novices very impressive he won a Nottingham it was like a race with Gallup he went to Newcastle same again he won quite impressively and and he obviously the form of that race it, it wouldn't have beat a lot so uh, it, was, it was you know it was thrown to a deep end it was you know Dante, probably one of the best trials of the year. So we had to learn more from him. So uh, we decided to give him a chance to run like a nice horse and ride him to run well, which that's what he did. Yeah, but we, I, I thought he ran a brilliant race. He stayed on nicely on ground. That's probably a deal he's too quick for him. And um, he came out of the race well. He didn't have a hard time. He would have learned plenty from it. I think, you know, like I said, with these horses, it's all about tomorrow more than today. You know, it's all about the future. Yeah. And Andre, just looking at the Derby as a whole and the Oaks indeed as well, um, have you taken sort of strong views, strong thoughts from having seen the trials now? I think, obviously, Mr. Gosling's got a very strong hand with Phillies and um, Aiden seems to be dominating with the Colts. Um, I don't know, I was very impressive with the Cheshire Oaks winner. Um, she was very impressive. She quickened up really well. She put the race to bed very quickly. I know she's not in the race, but it um, sounds like she'll, she'll turn up. And um, Obviously, the Dante winner, he was very tough. Uh, he travelled really strongly. And um, there's obviously a different scenario when we turn up here. You know, he needs to, it's a mile and a half. I'm sure he'll stay. He obviously just needs to relax a little bit more. Um, and there's a different scenario on Derby Day than there would have been at York, but I was very impressed with him, the way he travelled, the way he, was, you know, duck deep, and, uh, and he obviously be a very good horse of, of two down hot, and I was third behind him, uh, about five lengths behind him. So I think that's, that's going to turn out to be a very, a very good trial.